Hello, ladies and gentlemen, as well as all my other distinguished citizens who utilize pronouns to identify within our beloved and diverse democracy, the United States of America. Unfortunately, that democracy is in grave danger at the very least right here in Olympic City, USA. The Constitution and human rights are being literally pissed and defecated upon by our so-called local governments and public service. You, the taxpayers, are literally being inadvertently used to fund domestic terror campaigns on women, children, and furthermore innocent citizens who happen to pose a threat to the organized criminal activity being committed by certain corrupt law enforcement personnel as well as judicial employees. Michael Allen cannot be allowed to continue to terrorize our community via malicious prosecution and literally mass misappropriation and embezzlement of taxpayer funds and property. The jail is a black eye within this community. And rightfully so, because the citizens voted against building this house of horrors in the first place. I'm not lying. More than 60% of the entire inmate population is mentally ill or the displaced homeless population. And guess what? At least half of the entire jail population has been illegally placed on synthetic heroin, suboxone. Look it up, see what's going on. People excuse my French, but this shit is outrageous and illegal as hell. These mostly non post certified babysitters are paid nearly 100 grand of your hard earned money each to walk 30 minute checks on manufactured zombies for 12 hours a day. I'm not locked up right now because of the need to find justice. I'm in jail because I'm standing on principle and have the courage to speak the goddamn truth to a community that I let my blood, sweat, and tears to. Since when has anyone? heard of a man being allowed to operate as a public figure on the radio, organized dozens upon dozens of community events which catered to children as well as political figures and at-risk adults when he was wanted for the attempted murder and ambush of police officers, not to mention a cold case murder from five years ago. Y'all was around me in 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. I was around all of these people interacting, organizing, around these same public service, police officers every week, like, make it make sense, man. We have to make it make sense, this is wrong. Come on, people. We can't allow them to straight up steal our tax dollars and allow them to pay for retaliation against those they deem enemies. I'm in jail for whistleblowing, plain and simple. The slide broadcasting organization is under attack for reporting uncensored factual news. Facts. My toddler children and their mothers are being subjected to torture and terrorism because we told the truth about some cowards who happen to be masquerading as public servants. I'm literally being falsely imprisoned as we speak. They don't even have jurisdiction to even have me in custody. Hasn't anybody wondered what's going on with my speedy trial? I've been here 14 months. It's not a mystery as to why my proceedings are being hidden from the public view. Think about it. Oh, and a fun fact. Trial is in 12 days, and the seventh judge just quit for bias and prejudice reasons, i.e., judicial misconduct. And once again, right alongside Michael Allen's corrupt and dirty office, using your tax dollars to illegally punish an innocent black man for no reason other than utilizing the First Amendment. It's 2024, man. Why are we allowing America to be spelled with three K's on the back end? It's ridiculous. I'm being held on outrageous bonds right now with literally no evidence whatsoever regarding these crimes. My alleged court defendant is out free. And these people have been said to be shooters and different things of that nature. Listen, those people didn't do nothing. They did nothing either, period. Everybody's innocent. I'm in jail because of whistleblower I spoke of. Three days before my arrest last year, I was literally shot at and ran off the road by corrupt undercover police. And then they come arrest me three days later for the crime that they tried on me. Dan Carter, you're truly a sexual predator and a straight up scumbag, dude. All of this nonsense is being paid for by the public taxpayers, you. This is millions of your hard earned money going toward crime against innocent citizens, point blank, period. The public has to demand this illegal delivery be stopped immediately. Regina, Tony, all of the legislators for the whistleblowing bill, everyone needs to step up. The governor, period, I petitioned. There's hundreds of 
different signatures based on the atrocities taking place here. Something needs to happen immediately. Joe Royal is literally running a house of goddamn horrors in here with no oversight and blatantly disregarding Colorado state law and the U.S. Constitution. This is facts, and y'all and many of y'all know it. Y'all know it. Enough is enough. Our entire nonprofit organization, Family Players of Slide World Broadcasting Network, my young children and their mothers, me before they really do kill my black ass, we need help. We need federal oversight, legal aid immediately, intervention by the governor, something. Man, I don't care if it's Johnny Cochran's Christmas ghost, Spike Lee, 50 Cent, Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, the Obamas, or the goddamn Ghostbusters. Someone must do something about this right now. Right now. This entire situation is a civil and human rights atrocity, as well as a wanton miscarriage of justice. I'm being denied adequate defense and don't have a lawyer at all right now. Now the seventh judge, who was supposed to preside over trial in 12 days, has, has, has refused. Who am I going to trial with? Who am I supposed to be going to trial in the first place? It's, it's void judgment. It's nullified. They don't have jurisdiction over me. Something needs to happen, y'all, immediately. Like, we're under siege. We need help. I don't know if I'm going to get any more messages out, but in a nutshell, I try to keep it fast and, and easy. That's what needs to happen right now.